In this tutorial, we're going to see how to create and use an educator account in Scratch. First of all, we have to scroll down and go here for educators. Or straight away, you can go to this URL. Once we're here, we're going to click on teacher accounts, request account. And here you have to create a username to invent a password and we'll have to complete some more information about the school and some things. And once we are done, we will receive an email like this one where we have to confirm our account. And obviously the email will be sent to the account we have provided before. Once the email account is confirmed, we will receive another one saying that they have to check the information we have sent. And once that's done, they will create the educator account. And finally, after a while, could be hours or days, we will receive a kind of email like this saying that the Scratch teacher account is ready. So now let's see all the things that we can do with that account. I'm going to sign in with my account. And when I open up this menu, you will see I have one more option, which is my classes. Let's click here. Here I have some of the classes that I have already created and I'm using with my students. I'm going to create a new class. Let's call it test class, add class. And the first thing we have to do is add students. So let's go here. And there are three ways to add students. The first way that we have here is this new student. Here we have to type in the username that we want for him or her, but we have to make sure that that is free, is not used by another person. We have to click here, um, understand this information, and the password that will be set is this, which is my username. So the first time the students access uh, their accounts, they will have to type in my username as a password, and immediately Scratch will ask them to reset the password to, to make up a new one. Okay, this is a one way. Another way is by using the CSV upload. Here, basically, we have to upload a file containing the usernames and the password. We can download, download an example, we can fill it in, and then click here to upload it. But this is not my favorite option because I have to make up all the usernames and the password. The one I usually use is the student sign up link. Here, we only need to agree get the link. We have to share this link with the students and I'm going to show you what they will see when they access. Here they have to start, they have to make up a username, they have to make up a password, they have to complete some more information and they will create their own accounts. So we don't have to go one by one creating all the accounts. Okay, once we have all the students created, I'm going to show you an example. We can get into the count settings of a student to do several things. By pressing here, the next time they sign in, they will have to change their passwords by force. To be honest, I've never used it. Here, manually change the student's password. This is great because when they forget their password, we can manually change the password and they can continue scratching. And we can also remove their icons if we think that they're not appropriate. Also, another option is a studio. A studio is a space, a virtual space where the students can upload their projects and everyone can comment, can favorite, can like, can see the projects and play them. So this is a great way to share projects with the rest of the students. These studios are only available for the students of that class. In case you don't know, a student should have to do this. Look, this is one of my projects. I'm going to see it inside. They have to share the project. It is, there is an orange button here. I have already shared it. And here in the project page, they have to click on Add to Studio and click on the studio where they, they want to upload their projects. If they want to open the studio to see what there is in, they have to go to My Class. They will see My Class. I'm an educator. And when clicking on My Class, they will directly go here to the page of their class. Here in the class studios, they can click and they can see the different projects that have been uploaded and they can open them 
to comment, favorite, like and play those projects. And finally, I'm going to go back to uh, this page. We also have a tab called activity. Here in activity, we can see all the things that are going on in our class. Uh, loved projects, favorited projects, shared projects and so on. If you are wondering if we can delete a student account, the answer is no. They have to do it by themselves.